Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Swords and Serpents for the NES Part 12. When we last left off, we explored level 11 and discovered the mighty Ruby Sword. With that said, let's explore level 12. Welcome to Black Crystal. Let's pass through this wall and see what's on the other side. You have found a Black Crystal. Well, that was easy enough. Now let's pass back through the wall and do some more exploring. Ooh, green bats. Haven't seen bats in a while. Watch out, it's red snakes this time. Merle has awarded the magic plate for kicking so much ass. That will be an upgrade for Jack. The words to a viper spell are written here. Now let's pass through this wall. After repeating steps on the path to victory, two steps forward and turn west. Now let's pass back through the wall and continue our journey. Oh shit, six barbarians. I think I'm gonna run. Cowards. Four barbarians, that's more like it. Come get you some. Psychedelic death. Now let's pass through this wall and see what's on the other side. Magic fountain. Magicians may drink and replenish all their magic points. Awesome. The words to a regenerate spell are written here. That spell might come in handy. It will heal somebody completely. A lonely old barbarian. You're gonna get your ass whooped. The black crystal and the two spells are the only thing we want on this level, so let's head back to the stairs. Uh oh, five leprechauns. Even though they changed the color of the shirt, they're still leprechauns. I'm running. Cowards. What now? Three red snakes? Come get you some. Button mash for the win. If you remember a long time ago on episode 1, there was a guy on level 1 who wanted the black crystal, so we need to head back to level 1. Cool, a new enemy, some green skeletons. I wonder why they waited so late to bring skeletons into the game. Four more green bats. This should be an easy battle. And down goes the green bats. Really? That's three steps in a row and that's three enemies. That's ridiculous. Let's take the stairs back to level 11. Now we need to go to the stairs that lead back to level 10. It's 
Let's take a shortcut and pass through this wall. Who wants to get their ass up next? Blue snakes? Bring it on. Six blue snakes. I don't have time for this, so I'm gonna run. Cowards. Welcome to Soar. Let's take the stairs back to level 10. While we're here at level 10, let's go ahead and stop by the temple and heal everybody. Uh-oh, six gangsta goblins. I ain't got time for this. I'm running. Cowards. Welcome to the temple. The monks will tend to your wounds. What in the hell is this? There's monsters inside the temple? That's ridiculous. Cowards. Now what we need to do is take the zoom tube to level 9. Oh, what is it this time? Five blue snakes? You're gonna get your ass whooped. Bye bye, snakes. Clear is awarded the blood dagger for kicking so much ass. But Jack's already got one, so that's not an upgrade. Zoom tube activated! Let's head up here after we defeat these two mages. This is a zoom tube level. There's no telling what's at the end of zoom tube activated. This zoom tube will lead us to level one, right where we need to be, so we can go talk to the old guy. Adventure is your destiny! I can't believe these level 1 monsters are even attacking me. Welcome to destiny. Your destiny is to slay the dragon! Three puny knights, you really want some? Now you see the bet, now you don't. Return with the black crystal. Your reward shall be teleporter activated. This teleporter will teleport us to level 13, and I'm not done with this episode yet. We will explore level 13. Let's get started. The ruby amulet is near. Welcome to the secret level. This is the worst part about level 13. The next five steps I take, I will be running into seven enemies. These battles can be long and frustrating, but at this time I will show all of them to you. Whooping that ass, whooping that ass. As long as the enemies in these battles are snakes or bats, they are not that bad. But if they're leprechauns, it's brutal. Awesome, it's some bats. This should be an easy battle. Oh, 
wow, this battle's going on longer than I thought it would. There we go. Now let's make quick work up. Psychedelic dead. Jack has awarded the Crush Mace for kicking so much ass. And we already know that's not an upgrade. Ooh, it's some skeletons this time. These guys are really not that bad. They're not as annoying as leprechauns. But I did forget to mention, when these skeletons do hit, they do hit pretty hard. This battle's gonna take forever. I still haven't got an attack yet. I can't stand these guys. It seems like they get 20 attacks to my one. Any day now, is it my turn? Go. We're finally making some progress. But here comes their hundred attacks before I get one. This battle has been going on for almost a minute now, and I've only killed one leprechaun. Ugh. All it seems like I'm doing is just healing my party members. go now we're kicking ass come on game there's only three of them left this shouldn't take that long finally got rid of the assholes no good it's just skeletons this shouldn't be that hard At this point, I'm making a lot more progress on these skeletons than I did with the leprechauns.
Damn, major button mash for the win. You have found a ruby amulet. Jay is holding it. And that's the last of the ruby treasures. Now we need to go talk to the old man on level 10. But first we have to kill the last group of seven enemies. And of course, it had to be leprechauns, damn it. I hope you have your popcorn and soda, because this is going to be a long and boring fight. Why won't these leprechauns die? Whoa, that put a dent in their health. Finally killed one also. Yay, killed another one. And another one bites the dust. And another one's gone, and another one's gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey, I'm gonna get you too. Another one bites the dust. It's about damn time. Now let's pass through this wall and head back to level 10. But first, let's go inside here. Magic fountain. Magicians may drink and replenish all their magic points. Awesome. And once again, my dumbass heals after I get the magic fountain, not before. Just ahead is a Zoom Tube Activator! This Zoom Tube will lead us to level 10, right where we need to be. Ah shit, not five leprechauns. I've had enough of these guys already. I'm running. Whenever I get a turn, that is. Cowards. While we're on level 10, let's go ahead and stop at the temple and heal everybody up. Really, zombie? You want some of this? Come get some. Jack is awarded the Quick Blade for kicking so much ass. And the Quick Blade is a piece of shit. Welcome to the temple. The monks will tend to your wounds. Thank you very much, monks. I'll see you later. Now let's go talk to the old guy who told us to bring all the ruby treasures to him. But let's kick some zombie ass at first. And the zombies meet their psychedelic death. For bravery and valor, your party is promoted to experience level 16. And level 16 is the highest level you can reach. 
Ah, you have returned with the ruby treasures. Your reward shall be... Teleporter activated! And the old man teleports us to level 14. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Swords and Serpents for the NES Part 12. I want to thank you again for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for Part 13, The Conclusion.